Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you why Shaco is one of the strongest junglers here in Preseason 12. Lethality items got a buff. Lethality mythics became cheaper and stronger. Right now we're just keeping watch. We left base kind of late, so we had to wait before we got down our first box. Uh, if you leave base on time, you can get a defensive box out. But your first box you want to lay down for your own camp is going to be at the 50 second mark. Your box is on a 16 second cooldown, so the latest you can lay one to keep watch is the 34 second mark, and we reacted too late, so we didn't lay one. So right now we're just keeping watch. I told our, my teammates that uh, we don't need a leash, just keep watch. If you tell them that, they're actually very likely to keep watch because they're excited they don't have the leash, and sure enough, there they are. They're all keeping watch. So <clears throat> for our third box, we're going to get it down on our red buff. And we're going to be looking for all backstabs. Worst case scenario, you get invaded and then your clear kind of gets muffed. In which case, you may have to go start on your blue side. But it's kind of rare. Because if you get down a defensive box, they're not going to invade you. They're going to run into it and then they're going to get discouraged. Shiko's got a very fast clear, as you can see. Now we're going to box it into this side. The boxes are going to push them into each other, and then my box can tank two hits, just like so. Then we're going to go for our golems to get level three. At this point, you could go for gromp on your blue side if you needed to for whatever reason, but normally you're going to go for golems next. You can play Shaco AP. I've made an AP Shaco guide. AD Shaco is generally more consistent. And you're only ever going to go AP Shaco if your team doesn't have any AP, which actually in this game, AP Shaco would have been a better choice because you see my whole team's AD, but I wanted to play AD Shaco instead of AP Shaco, even though my team's full AD. Once you get the medium golems down to about an auto attack and a half worth of HP, your box will finish them off. I didn't need to even stay as long as I did. I kind of want to invade the graves. I have a feeling he started with his bot side for the better leash, the fact that he hasn't ganked top. I can even uh, get a ward down here. Yeah, so he didn't even invade my jungle, so he most likely started with his bot side. Well, ooh, hey buddy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he loses this. Yeah, he literally loses this. Backstab damage in our E. Shaco's damage is ridiculous, plus fleet footwork graves. is going to have trouble kiting us out. If it was... Uh, like phase rush graves that might have actually been hard looks like he just did a three camp clear he did red buff krugs and raptors that puts us in a bit of a pickle make sure you save your e uh to finish them off it does more damage the lore and health they are and your auto attacks also slow them as long as your e isn't on cooldown that's why you see shako using his e late he generally will just q auto attack people All right, we got his flash. That's decent. Grace is going to get opposite side scuttle. We already know there's a ward right here. We can take blue gromp and regank. Just go right over the wall like a talon would. I'm going to queue to get here faster and to get my empowered auto. I'm, I am going to E early only because I can use my E twice on this camp. So I might as well get it going on cooldown. And your E does more damage. You need to hit it from behind as well. Your auto attacks and your ease do. Your clone benefits from your backstab damage as well. Hit it from behind. Box tanks two hits. And I think we can go top. Yeah, Urgot's really low. This is a free gank. We're leaving our raptors and golems exposed. It's worth it for the kill though. Oh, uh, I think he's resetting actually. Yeah, we just got it back. It's not worth it if we're not going to get a kill out of it. First item rush, you're going to be looking for Serrated Dirk. We'll get our control ward, get our Oracle Lens. A lot of the times, you'll be holding on to your warding totem on Shaco since he can go over walls and he's invisible. You don't really need Oracle Lens in your first clear, but after you backed once, it's nice to have it. Oh, there's Graves. We're going to go for Emax and the Qmax. Oh, he's so screwed. Auto attack E. He's a goner. I'm going to smash this. I'm assuming bot scuttle's already gone. And mid's not very gankable. We're going to W, Q over. Box is going to fear it pretty quick. 
Shaco is considered a top five jungler at the moment. Him, Talon, Graves, and even Warwick's considered top 10 right now. Warwick got a lot stronger since he can play into weird stuff like Shaco. And if Graves doesn't kite really, really well, Warwick can also kill Graves as well because Warwick can attach to the Graves E dash or the Graves uh, R dash. He attaches to both with his Qs. Shaco's in a really good spot. At the, at the moment, Dustblade is the meta. Just a patch or two ago, it was Eclipse, but now it's just Dustblade all the way, usually into Collector or Dustblade into Essence Reaver. We're not level six. We probably can't fight this guy. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even going to try to. Well, I can't go bot either. I'll just cross through mid and get some XP. And I also froze the way for my mid laner in a tasty spot. Our guy was going to have to step up to finish that. Three minions is kind of like a monster camp, like taking a wolves <laughs> in terms of XP. It's close. We'll be going for Gromp next. Graves is topside right now. We could probably dispatch him with our Ignite. Fleet Graves is really good at the moment. If you're going to run into a jungler who has a lot of kill pressure like Shaco or Warwick you should really go ignite and if you have trouble kiting melee champions you should also go phase rush so you can kite it out phase rush would actually be really good against Shaco since Shaco e slow and Shaco's auto slow when his e's not on cooldown uh phase rush would counter that out pretty hard get my box behind him try to block off his dash I ignited him as well, and we have our E to secure. We got the kill. I eat a little early because Mundo was going to get it. I'm just going to let him have the CS. I don't need it. I don't even want the CS. I'm just trying to get it low for him. Our R is up. I think Graves is on his red buff right now. If I could find a fruit to eat, I could go kill him because my red's up. He started on his red buff. Jeez. Yeah, I don't think I can kill him because I, I don't have Ignite and I'm missing half my health. That sucks. I'll just R. Not a big deal. A lot of times when you have your R on Shaco, you go and solo a dragon. You let your clone tank while you hit the dragon from behind. We got some value out of that gank, though. I'm not too worried about it. Then we'll swing back around when it's unfeared and we'll try to let our box tank. Just make sure your box is closer. You lay your box closer to the camp than uh, your max auto attack range. Because if you lay the box farther away from the camp than your max auto attack range, this little circle when you hold down C, then it's just gonna, it's literally just gonna hit whatever is closest. So there I laid the box closer. Oh wow, Zai is doomed. I'll just leave my Krugs. Graves Blue's coming up. Might as well go grab that. Might even be able to kill him in his jungle. Strong possibility. I gotta hurry. Might have been better to just wait for him to show up. Guess we can just reset. We'll just do that. My bot lane's backing. If I stay and try to fight him to the death, it could get ugly. Galio could R, his bot lane could show up, all sorts of bad stuff. I don't think we can do this. Yasuo's missing too much health. Nice. He didn't react in time. I'm happy about that. Now that we have our dust blade, we will be getting boots. You may be saying, well, you don't have boots yet. How are you going to be able to gank? We have Relentless Hunter. If you don't go for Relentless Hunter, then you will need to get earlier boots than I got. I wanted first item rush for more kill potential. We're still moving around at 366, which is about what you'd be moving out if you had boots and not Relentless Hunter. Our blue should be up. Urgot's full health. We could go for Dragon or a Herald here with our R. 
I would love to solo Grave some more. It'd be super easy. He's really far behind. Shaco scaling can be very questionable if the enemy AD carry can self pill. Like a Zaya R or a Vayne R. In cases like those, Shaco doesn't scale very well because he relies on having to kind of one-shot people. Got him. Just needed my Hellblades to come off a cooldown and then I could turn it on him. Burnt my Hellblades on the graves. I'm gonna set these up for Mundo. I don't want them to set off my box though. I'll launch over. Uh, stuff's down anyways. I guess I'll just reset and get tier two boots. I can just go for Lucidities here. I don't think I'm gonna need plated. I think Lucidities will be fine since we're ahead. They also have Galio and Rakan for AP damage. If they are full AD, I would definitely go plate it. Since I'm ahead, I think I can get away with Lucidities. Just having my R on a lower cooldown will give a lot of value in itself. If you're going to play AP Shaco, you go for Dark Harvest. AD Shaco always goes Hellblades these days. With all the Conqueror and Nurse Hellblades, this is his best AD keystone. I'm going to max our Q second. I'm going to auto attack him. Then I'm going to pop my R. I didn't really want to lead in with R there. Because I wanted them to focus me, but instead they just focused Yasuo, so. With how they played it, it actually would have been better if I queued in WR'd immediately rather than hold on to R. Your R you can block all damage while you're transitioning. So uh, you can use it to dodge even Karthus R's if you do it right. It's a really good tool. It's almost like using a Zhonya's if you use it right. So that's what I was trying to do, but they didn't really focus me at all. It's really hard to hit Dragon in the back. You see how fast it swivels? We are landing backstabs, but the, the Dragon swivels on a dime. Very agile. Oh, I can't do this. There's too many. Guy was going to walk into me, though. He doesn't know which one's which. And my clone blew up on them. I think their bot lane's rotating. Yeah. He's eating the fruits. That sucks. I want to push into Graves' topside jungle. Ooh, Zaya's by herself. We could snatch her up really fast. She has tier 2. She's moving 375, I'm moving 418 with Relentless. This is freaking pink warded, though. Ah, that's really unfortunate. That would have been so tasty. Oh well. I'll leave my new pink over here. My bot lane is not managing. I had a control word there and the enemies got it. Oh well. I think we'll go for uh, Essence Reaver next. Essence Reaver over Collector. It's a tough call. They're both really strong. You can go Collector into Essence. They're both pretty good. Essence gives you a lot of burst. So does Collector, but in a different way. Might just go Essence Reaver into Searle does for the percent base penetration. That would be really good. Yeah, their bot lane's way overextended here. Khan's a goner. Rest in peace for Khan. We don't have Herald, otherwise I would lay it. We went for the dragon instead. We can definitely kill Galio. We could kill him in three autos. He only has 600 health. Gonna drop W behind him. Oh, 
His magic, <laughs> Shaco's E only does magic damage, so his shield soaked my whole E. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little preseason 12 Shaco jungle commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.